Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to build a simple resource booking system. And uh, in this fictitious company, we have no more than five meeting rooms. They're called Spain, Sweden, India, Estonia, and the USA. And in those rooms, we'll offer some services. We'll offer coffee, high tea, lunch, and dinner and, and entertainment. And then we're going to create a calendar list app for each and every one of those and connect that to the services. So let's jump in and start doing that. I'm going to go to my camstrom.com demo site here. And here I'm going to create a new app. I'm going to do that on the site contents. And it's going to be a custom list app. And that custom list is going to be called services. And when I go into services here, I want to modify that list. Or actually, I can just edit the list and add these services. Coffee, high tea. And let's see, what was the other one now that I said? Uh, lunch and dinner and entertainment, of course. All right, there we have the services list. Now I'm going to go into site content again, and I'm going to add another app, and I'm going to do an appointments app, or a calendar app, rather. I'm going to add that, and I'm going to call that the name of the first meeting room here, which is Spain. Create that. Now I have a calendar here for Spain. And then I'm going to go in and modify this calendar now to uh, modify the columns. I'm going to create a column. I'm just going to call that services booked. There we go. I'm going to make that a lookup value. And the information that you're going to be able to book from is the services. I'm going to allow multiple values. And I'm going to use title on that. So you can select several of these things. I'll just go ahead and click OK. So now when I create a new event here, new event, see I get all the ordinary fields, but I also uh, can add that I want coffee and dinner and entertainment with this booking. So now that I'm done with this uh, calendar here, I'm going to save that as a template. Going to go in under list settings and save this list as a template. Resource calendar, I'm going to call that. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that there. And now I can create the other ones, the other apps. Add an app, resource, resource calendar. I'm going to call that Sweden. As you see now, the Sweden one will, of course, also have this new field that I added. The service is booked, and um, I'm going to go continue, do the other ones too. Next one was Estonia. And let's see, what did I call the other ones? India and USA are the ones remaining. So I'm going to do the, those two. Right, there we have five calendars, one, two, three, four, five, and each of those are uh, using the services um, list here, which is now hidden, it's not recent anymore. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and add, I'm going to go into the USA one, and click on this link here called Calendars in View. And I'm going to add a new calendar, well, that's uh, India, that's a SharePoint calendar of course, and then I'm going to make that pick up the list here, resolve this, there we go, and now I can do the India one, and it's going to be the calendar view, of course, that it's going to show, and always show that. I could also select a color there, but I'm just going to let it be the default for now. Estonia, let's uh, do the olive green for Estonia, resolve that, 
and there we go, Estonia, it's fine, always show, and I'm going to keep doing this. And the color for Sweden should probably be maybe blue. Always show. And uh, now we are missing the Spain one, so I'm going to do that one too. Spain one can be dark purple, that would be nice. There we go. Um, click OK there, and now you see I have all the calendars here in one. So now you see these links here. Since I see that all of the rooms are actually available on, um, uh, let's see here, the Monday the 4th, uh, I can add something there so I can go into the actual calendar I want to book. So I want to book Estonia there, and then I can go to that date and just make the reservation. I'm just going to make that reservation there. And now when I go back to the default view here, the USA view, and click up on there, there you see I have the booking in Estonia there in this shared view of all the bookings. Of course there's a lot more you can do to this. You can remove a lot of the standard fields and um, improve this in lots of ways and create views. But this does uh, resolve the major task. I'm just going to show you one more thing here, and that's connecting these views into Outlook, which is very powerful. Now I'll just go ahead and click on that, connect to Outlook, and that will open an ICQY link, and then I can connect this, and here you see I have a new separate calendar here, Camstrom.com Demo India Calendar, and I can remove my own personal calendar and just work in that. So here I can do more, much easier long-term planning. So for, I can do the kickoff, for example. That's very easy. Just type it in here. And I can, of course, also drag and drop these. And of course, this shows up now in the India calendar. Fresh there. And of course, in the USA one, if I go back there, you have the kickoff and it's color-coded that I did it in India. And of course, I can do this with the other calendars too now. Let's see, I refresh that. Calendar, and then connect to Outlook. And the same thing goes there. So I have the Estonia and the India one, and I can work with these, I can add new items, I can drag, drag and drop. And it's all rather powerful. What I would like to do now is go back to the site and uh, finally just make sure that the USA link, the one with all of the calendar overlays is the one visible by default. So I'm going to go into that calendar there, go into list settings and make sure that's the one in the quick launch. So I'm going to go to home now and see the, the USA here. I can actually rename that one, make it a better name. The site settings and uh, the quick launch and the recent ones, I can just remove those, well, they'll disappear eventually by themselves, but I'm just going to remove those links for now, and do that, call that link instead. Instead of USA, I'll call that resources. Resource booking, even. And then I'm just going to clear out these. Don't want to show them right now. There we go. There I have a SharePoint site with a very simple resource booking system. Thank you for watching this demonstration.